Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 5 of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Let's go get started in 3, 2, hold on. I'm freaking three. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. In 3, 2, 1, go. child hmm? oh she cute look at her don't follow that can this is how all horror movies start <laughs> hmm? oh kitty Of course. That's not a kitty, babe. <laughs> Maybe just an emergency meeting or something. I don't know. Looking like Tartar. Girl, will you stop? Damn. You need member. Yeah. I mean, well, who else did you think she was going to be? The leader? Is it because she looks too innocent? <laughs> I didn't kidnap her. She followed me.
Bruh. <laughs> Oh my god, Kiwi. Yeah, she's just shy. Oh my god. Mm. She an introvert. Okay. No, I think we're going to do a practice fight on YouTube. Seriously? It's simple, but cute. Right. Mm hmm. How the hell is she gonna fight in that though? That's a long ass dress. Hmm? Right? I, I wouldn't follow it. You can clearly tell this is a trap. But even the house. Come on now. Good job, girls. Good job. Yeah. Doors locked. Look, we already had a crazy cat yesterday with Poppy Playtime Chapter Chapter Three, and you're giving me another one. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Well, I mean, they're toys. Like, you think this is going to work on toys? Nah, boo. Magenta, what the fuck? When the hell did you change? This is now officially a geo. Ma'am! Oh my god, no! <laughs>
It's the house. Yeah, sure, you know, why not, homo? Really? I cannot with her deep voice. Ma'am, oh my god! <laughs> That's nice. Interesting ability, though. Right, very OP. Uh oh. I think so too. <laughs> Kiwi, you buy yourself on that. That's the only thing. Maybe she's going home. <laughs> what y'all should be doing secretly. Seriously? You want to play? No. Hmm? 
What you gonna do? Sew them up together? Stitch them up. Uh, well, not the tape. <laughs> no, not that one. Aww. Right? Did you stay up all night? <clears throat> mm. Girl, go home. Go home. Goddamn. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Well, um... Okay. This is how it always starts. <laughs> on the nipple. <laughs>
feel better. Now? Um, uh, deal. <laughs> Bye. She's such a little cutie. That real life dollies. Bye. Like, uh, she's so adorable. Oh my god. And the, the precious child being influenced, I cannot, bro. <laughs> She just reminds you of how you were as a kid and how, like, super innocent you probably were. And then next thing you know, you get older and you just get influenced. You be like, damn, I'm not so innocent anymore. <laughs> you just talk about the fact. She's like, okay, mm-hmm, she's it was a sick. All right, she got a cold. I know how to fix it. That's just like the start of a hentai report. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> but no, nah, like she's super freaking adorable. But like, oh yeah, like her power is definitely superior, hella OP. I mean, it, imagination imagination oh my god girl can just do anything when it comes to her mind so i feel like maybe see okay if we're if we're comparing this to pretty cure standards like okay yeah she's like the final cure of the show like ridiculously op then you know the cure the first cure so the first pink cure or we can do like freaking sora from hitogato since you know that just recently ended and shit um so she's like the She's the shiny luminous. She is the cure majesty. She is, she's the OP of OP regardless because she is ridiculously OP. Like she is the freaking, the, the fucking Aqua Regina Sama or just like any ridiculous OP magical girl and like any magical girl series and be like, damn, you know, maybe we should use her a lot because Pretty Cure also does that too. When the final cure always comes in, ridiculously episode after episode after episode after episode until we get the final final power up <laughs> we gotta use the final care because she's op as fuck <laughs> cure finale in a nutshell duh but uh, i mean like no she's super adorable hella cute i i love her like protect her she gives me feels not only to alice in wonderland in a nutshell but she also gives me feels to another similar character who is like very much alice in wonderland inspired um <clears throat> Hardcore Alice from Magical Girl Raising Project. So, 
If you haven't seen that show, go watch that show. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I did a reaction to it years ago, but unfortunately, it's not on my channel, so fuck you, too. Um, but I I'm not going to spoil on her because, like, my baby, she's so precious to me, and I love her so freaking much and such. Um, but yeah, 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 I love the fact that, like, it it's her outfit is just so freaking cute. But my thing is, like, how the hell are you going to do any, how are you going to do combat? But because of the fact is she uses her mind and just anything that is essentially around her, of course, she's not going to be the type of person to do hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, like, if we could go again with the Pretty Cure standard, her using her magical abilities is very equivalent to majority of the cures using their magic wands instead of, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. So think of Kinda Kinda Pretty Cure Ala Mode versus if we're doing Utsuna and Kiwi. Kiwi and Utsuna are like cure... I gotta look that up, shit. Um, what is your... I think it's Melody I'm thinking of. No, oh my god! Okay, good thing it didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. Because y'all would have heard something. Shut up. Cure Melody. There we go. Yeah. So, Utsuna and Kiwi are the Cure Melody, while, you know, our lovely little Neo Alice is like the Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure Olive Mode group in a nutshell, kind of. So, if I had to pick one. Mmm. Maybe Parfait. I mean, I'll just say Parfait to Parfait, because that's freaking What's Her Face from, um,. Damachi. But yeah, no, this was cute. Oh my god, she's freaking adorable. But I mean, the doctor scene, um, you had to hold her like that, huh? You had to. You had to. Just change it to a guy and a girl and just pretend that's me. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> please. Because <laughs> Oh my god, but no, I don't really have anything else to say about the episode. It was just good as fuck. Yeah. That's all. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 5 of Gushing Over Magical Girls. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 6. Yeah, you're probably wondering if I had anything to share. I don't think anything else could share, like, a really top up, you know, last week's thing that I said. And I don't know if I have anything else to share. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.